What's up? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ambitions Vapor. Today we're going to be looking at the Tsunami Mech with the Tsunami 25 RDA on top, the kit by Geek Vape. <clears throat> we're also going to be using Coil Masters Comp Wire, and we're going to be using some Smoothie E Liquid uh, Pineapple Mango from ADV E Liquids inside for the build portion. Let's take a look at it. So this was sent to me from Geek Vape for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much. I will not change my opinion of this kit. Okay. Um, this is a mechanical kit. You can get different sleeves for it. Um, hybrid and 510 compatible. 25 millimeter tsunami. What we're going to do in this review, guys, we're going to dive down. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you everything. Take the button apart. Put a build in it. In this tutorial build tutorial we're going to be doing some round wire dual parallel 26 gauge comp wire from coil master and we're going to be also reviewing this smoothie e-liquid from adv e-liquids that's what we're going to do i'm going to give you all the specs when we dive down all that good stuff but before we do that let's have a vape so i got the comp wire in here it's a dual parallel 26 gauge 5 wrap. Comes out to a 0.22 ohm build. It's a little bit higher than my normal builds, but I haven't done a round wire build in a while. I wanted to bring it back to the basics for you guys. and But it's hitting nice, dude. Let's have a vape. Let's dive down and check out the Tsunami Mech Kit by Geek Vape. The Tsunami Mac. All right, it's not going to come in this package, but quick switch between 510 mode and hybrid mode. Replacement tube, upgraded Tsunami Pro IDA with many improvements. Just going to open that up, and this is how it's going to come. 510. Okay. You get the this piece 510 adapter the tsunami pro ida user manual the tool o-rings and grub screws and this is what it looks like all right 25 millimeters in diameter is the mac all right so you can't take it off from the bottom. You got some holes for ventilation on the bottom. On the bottom it says Geek Vape. That's the throw. Geek knows better. Nice throw. And what you do is you unscrew that. And then uh, this comes off. And you can buy additional sleeves. And uh, you can unthread this, and you can put on the uh, 510. But I always do hybrid, so there's Delrin, there's an insulator in there. Good threads, all right. And that's the hybrid brass, okay? You got an O-ring to make sure it goes on nicely. You got an insulator inside for safety. Good threads. Very nice. Then you got that tube that you can buy an additional tube for. Holes for ventilation matches up with the holes down here. Take that piece and it goes over like that. Then you got the button magnetic, self adjusting Delrin. Boop, boop. That's how it works. It's got that little prong in there.
There's the pin. That little piece in there keeps that magnet in there. I'm not taking it out because it's a bitch to get back in. But you just put your tweezers in there, you pull it out, you can take out the magnet. Alright. It's the other magnet. It's a very simplistic... Okay, back in business. Here is the top cap of the Tsunami Pro. That comes out. Can't use your goons, but you can buy additional drip tips for this as well. All right, nice conical design, single and dual coil options, 25 millimeters in diameter. And here's the deck. Right, good post holes, Allen key grub screws, two O-rings, L-shaped, bottom airflow, deep juice well, T-shaped, says Tsunami 25, black, protruding 510 pin, peak insulator. All right, it is adjustable, but it's going to loosen up that post, okay? Those are the post holes, nice and clean, nice and big. They're about uh, three millimeters by two millimeters. Good grub screws, nothing wrong, everything's good. All right guys, in this build tutorial, I'm gonna use some Coil Master Comp wire. Right, they got 26 gauge, 10 feet, 22 gauge, 10 feet, and 24 gauge, 10 feet. They might have, uh, they probably have some more, but this is what they sent. All right, so I'm going to do uh, a regular round wire build, and we're going to use some uh, on the back. If you do a three millimeter, so they let you know on the back. So a three millimeter, we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to do a dual parallel 26 gauge. Up, and this is how it's going to come. It's going to come like that. It's going to come with some nice Kojindo Japanese cotton, which we're going to use. I'm going to do it old school today.
there we go so let's go back up top let's vape on it talk on it pros and cons i'll see you guys in a minute <clears throat> so we're uh, back from the close-up guys on the tsunami mech kit with the tsunami pro ida and the comp wire and the juice all right let's go over the mech because that's the main event um, how do I feel about what I like about it, what I don't like about it? Well, there's one con to this, all right? And the only con to this is sometimes when you unscrew the bottom, when the battery's in there with the atomizer, sometimes it loosens the inner tube from the 510, and the IDA will fall off. Um, that's kind of the con that I've had with this, is you have to be careful when unscrewing the throw. It will sometimes unscrew the 510. Um, which is a con. I wish it didn't do that. Um, so just be vigilant of that and uh, make sure that that's not happening. Okay. Um, it feels nice. Feels very comfortable to hand. This is very nice and grippy. Um, I like the color of it. it. There is two different colors. Geek Vape is sending me the other one, which is copper. And then it has like a resin sleeve on it. It looks really nice with some matching drip tips. I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. Once it does, I will show you guys and do an, I guess, update video or whatever. Um, so that's really nice. Single and dual coil options on the IDA. You can use your own 510 drip tips with the adapter. Nice chuff top. Very comfortable in the mouth. Um, it's Delrin. It doesn't really get hot. Nice throw on the mech. Really nice throw. This has also got like Kennedy style airflow. It hits nice. There's no button rattle at all. Zero button rattle. There's an insulator inside of the mech mod. This is the Black Ring Plus mech mod. That's the technical name for it um i like that it's brass i like that there's an insulator inside i also like you can buy additional sleeves for it that's going to be a pro you can use the 510 or you can use the hybrid i like how they give you that option um, i like the hybrid connection it's just it is what it is man pretty deep juice wall in the ida um nice airflow uh, nice post holes, you know, all that's great. Nice O-rings, nice tolerance to the O-ring. Um, holes for ventilation on the bottom, pro magnetic switch. Nice switch, nice throw to the switch. Nice heavy weight to it. It's a solid mech. It's a solid kit. Comes out to a 0.22 ohm build. I usually go lower, so it's a little bit cool for me, but... Um, I haven't done a round wire build in a while for you guys. So I hope you liked the build. Um, nice threads. Um, it hits nice. It's not the hottest hitting mech I've used, but it hits nice, especially because of the build I have in it. It's not really... Uh, I'd probably want to put a 0.11 on this instead of a 0.22. If a mugger stole my book bag and this was in it, I would go out and buy it. I would. It's nice. It's solid. You can find this bad boy at geekvape.com or you can find it at heavengifts.com. Uh, use coupon code AMBITIONS, all caps, one word for an additional 15% off. This is like $58.60 on, having, on heavengifts.com. Um, nice price point for a mech in an IDA kit setup. I must say, that's a nice... It, it's definitely a nice... Uh, price to it i mean you guys saw my aftermath v2 review that thing's 300 this thing's 5860 i mean if you don't want to pay that this thing's not bad i am going to compare the two and do the cheapest versus the most expensive um, and let you guys know but really nice setup this comp wire is made out of f e s c l r alloy i'll put that in the description for you guys i can't even remember off I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's got a 600 uh, Celsius melting point. It's got a faster ramp up time. It's supposed to, you know, use for competition, really good flavor, etc. It does have good flavor. It does have a faster ramp up time. It's $9.99 for a packet of 26, 24, or 22 gauge wire. Comes with the three sheets, like I said. Um, you can find this. I'll put it in the description where you can find this as well. Coilmaster.net. 
A and eighty Y is my favorite comp wire, and that's eighteen dollars for for fifteen feet. So um, it's a little bit cheaper than that. It's supposed to be in the same category as that, um, but you know I'm not really sure. Now the smoothie e liquid. Uh, the pineapple mango. This is good stuff. All right. It's not as good as the mixed berry, in my opinion. Um, this I don't really like pa pineapple or mango in my vapes. I just I've tried to like them. I just don't like them. I don't like really fruity, fruity vapes. I like more of a a, a bolder, deeper, you know, desserty. Um, the other one's phenomenal though. The mixed berry is phenomenal, but um, this stuff's pretty good. If you like pineapple mango and you like smoothies, this stuff is definitely really really good um i like it considering i don't like pineapple and mango so i'm gonna you know let you know about that as well i'm pretty sure this is like 24 to 26.99 for a 60 ml bottle comes in 0 3 and 6 milligrams of nicotine it's a 75 25 vgpg ratio um really good e-liquid really good setup this whole setup is working really nice i got one of these to give away be subscribed, leave a like, comment down below, hashtag tsunami mech kit. All right? Make sure you put that in the comments, man, or else you're not going to be entered in the giveaway. It's just simple as that. One comment each. There's no two comments. You'll be disqualified, all right, automatically. If you'd like to contribute and donate to my Patreon page, I have a lot of giveaways going over there. A majority of my stuff goes to the Patreon uh, for giveaways, all right? We have a build off going right now. Um, we're doing a dual coil build. Take a picture of it. And the winner of that's going to win a Revenant 160 box mod. Um, so if you'd like to join that and just support and support my channel, then you're more than free to do that. If you don't want to, hey, you know, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I got one of these to give away the same setup. Um, yeah, man. Um, you're going to have to pay for shipping. That's why I like to do the Patreon. Okay, you do the Patreon, you donate. Shipping is automatically covered. And, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about doing just straight giveaways anymore because um, you're not really technically supposed to do that, I guess. I'm not sure. But paying for shipping is not technically a giveaway. You're paying for it. So um, it is what it is, man. I'm just trying different things over here. Uh, I might seem a little bit all over the place with the giveaway stuff, but, you know, I'm trying to be accurate, correct, and I don't want to do anything bad for the vaping community. Um, and I don't really know where it's at right now, so I'm trying the best I can to please both worlds, um, and it is what it is. That's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found the video helpful or informative. You know what to do. Content daily, 1080p. Don't waste your bandwidth. Not being subscribed to the channel. Stay juiced up, squad. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.